Hey there, and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. I am always on the hunt for new games to add to my collection. And I am a bit of a weird collector in the sense that I do not really care about complete in-box games. Now, I like a nice box, of course, uh, but it's not uh, the main reason for me to buy a game. I buy a game to play the game. So I end up buying loose N64, NES, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive cartridges all the time. And the only challenge is probably stacking them on a shelf. Especially the PAL Super Nintendo cartridges or the Mega Drive cartridges can be a bit of a challenge to stack. Now recently I got contacted by a guy who supported the channel before. His name is Thomas and Thomas contacted me and said he had a box filled with 100 universal game cases and he asked if I wanted them for free. So in this video I want to show you how to make your game collection look nice on a shelf without paying top dollar. Now I know this isn't something new, these have been around for a while, but I never got around buying them because I didn't know which cartridges would fit them and how it would look, how the printing would go. So if you are like me, then this video is for you. So let's go. For this video I will use my small collection of loose N64 cartridges. Normally the N64 shelf looks like this. I know, pretty awful. The box arrived and it contained 100 of these universal game cases. So thanks again Thomas for sending these my way. They're called universal cases because they can hold a variation of different game cartridges. They can store Mega Drive or Genesis games the bigger EA cartridges, N64 games, NTSC Super Nintendo cartridges, PAL Super Nintendo cartridges, and finally even dual cases. One cartridge that is not listed as being compatible but does fit rather nicely are Master System cartridges. In fact, the cases are almost the same size as Mega Drive slash Genesis and Master System game cases. This makes the universal cases perfect for replacing broken Sega game cases. Like I did here with my Shinobi case. We obviously need game covers and for this I use a website called thecoverproject.net. This website lists covers for the most common games for every imaginable platform. The dimensions of a cover that fits the universal game cases is 3366 by 2100 pixels. I'm going to show you how to print them using Windows built-in paint program since everybody that runs Windows has this program. First verify that the dimensions of the cover you downloaded are indeed correct by viewing the properties. Set the units to pixels to check the dimensions but be sure to put it back to centimeters before exiting the screen. This is easier when we go set the print margins. Next, go to Page Setup and set the paper size to A4 if you are European or legal if you are in the US. Then set the smallest possible margins your printer can handle. I set them to 8mm left and right and 10mm top and bottom. Don't enable centering and set fit to 1 by 1 pages. Now you're ready to print. Don't forget to set your printer to the best settings for optimal results and then hit print. It's probably easier to use a cutting machine but if you have a steady hand you can also use scissors. Now 
Carefully place the cover inside the case, making sure it's aligned properly. Now let's tidy up my loose N64 games. Nice! Keep in mind when I started it looked like this. And now here is how it looks. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these cases. Now I'm very curious how do you store your loose cartridges? Please let me know in the comments below. So if you are like me and you don't always buy complete in box games, then these universal game cases are perfect for you. I will most certainly use these cases to also uh, display my Super Nintendo and Mega Drive cartridges. So for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.